Alright guys, and welcome back to more Tales of Zestaria. On the previous episode, we just got done purifying uh, the uh, Lord of the Land for Pendrago, and now we have the Lord of the Land available for Pendrago, and wow, I haven't really been fighting in this area, as you can see, the grade we, could, uh, we totally got from this entire area doesn't add up. Like, look at that, we only got 206 total grade from this entire area. You can tell I haven't really been fighting the enemies in this area because of that little grade, but anyway, let's see what boons we can use. Yeah, Travers Repo or Travelers Repost. Uh, no, not that. Nah. I think we're just going to leave everything the way that it is. And then off camera, I'll probably end up grinding this place anyway because there are some Hellions here that drop boots and I need some better boots for some of my crew. And uh, right now, what we're going to do, we're going to offer up some items. I know I have some items I can offer up here. Damn, I don't have that many. I, I must have offered them up in the other Lord of the Lands. But anyway, I mean, I can definitely give them... Damn, I don't want to give this one away. Because look at that. That is really good for uh, your girl. Because it gives it Invalida. But I like the way she has right now. Because look, she has this. And I think it's one of her best equipment uh, for her hair. It's one of her best hair bands that you can get. And... It has the 35% chance to convert non-elemental damage, which I think activated a couple times in that fight. And she has SC recovery speed. I can easily, like, farm this hairband and, like, get better uh, skills, because that Mirage, I don't know about that. But anyway, what we want to do is probably just offer up that hair. I'm probably not, not going to use it. I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to offer it up. So I can get some grade here. As awesome as it looks, uh, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling this too fast hairband either. So I'm just freeing up as much space as I can in my inventory so I can get uh, item drops later on. So yeah, for whatever reason, they give you a decent amount of uh, grade for trading those in. Probably gonna trade in a lot of the snacks that I have, like these sh uh, strawberry shortcakes. I'll probably trade in 10 and then five of these pound cakes and like three of these ra raspberry uh, mousses <laughs> mousse mouse all right look at that blessing level four now now we have healing air your recovery rate will be boosted by 20 percent when you eat snacks i will have that i would I, I would love that so what we're going to do now we're going to rest at the end and see how many skits we can get from resting at the end because i believe there are talents you can only learn from the end. Hell, I think you can only learn talents from the end. So we're going to stay at the end and see if we can learn a talent or two. So we're going to eat some... We're going to eat some... Yeah, we're going to eat some of this again. Mabo curry bun is really delicioso y some Dezel, do you know a lot about ruins? I do have some knowledge about them since I've been around. But I've never been interested enough to explore. It's really fun to imagine what these artifacts have been through over the years. Ponder over our new discoveries, close in on the truth, or expand on what we already know. I do have the ability to sense certain smells left behind in the earth, to detect humans and certain objects left behind since ages past. Really? Whoa, you can sense through smells? Is that something even someone like me could learn? You can learn through experience to a degree, but you need talent if you want to truly master it. I'll try my hardest. Let me know if I overlook anything important. Uh oh, we're about yeah. to learn something. As long as I don't get into the way of your precious hobby. <laughs> so we're about to learn a new talent, it looks like. Is it gonna be luring? I think it might be luring. Point of interest detection. Oh, he taught him. Oh, he taught Dezel point of interest. That's interesting. Oops, I'm keep, I keep going to the wrong thing. So Dezel has everything now. He has four slots filled out. Yeah, yeah, he has that now. He's already maxed out wind stepping. Luring. I want to know how high luring can go. Luring looks like it can probably go up to 30, maybe. All right, let's stay at the end and see if we can learn a new talent. Yup, look at this. Lila, sit here for a second. What the? What is it? Just take a seat. So, you'll have a lot of Norman acquaintances, but don't seem terribly interested in Norman. Well, I mean, we're just friends, is all. What the? 
Just sit down already. <laughs> Lila, you're underestimating them. Remember, we need to catch 50 of them or else. What the? You really like the Norman, don't you, Edna? You even got one on your umbrella. You kidding me? I totally don't like them. Now, why won't you sit down? The last time I sat down, it was to pull an all-nighter. That's bad for fair skin like mine, so good night. <laughs> hey, sit down. <laughs> what? What the hell? Why was she trying to get her to sit down so much? And watching these skits actually help us out so we can get a trophy. We need to watch as many skits too. Norman for the win. She actually learned a talent. I guess she she sat down and I guess Edna taught her that talent. Alright, let's go to that. Norman for the win. Detect nearby previously undiscovered Norman. You know what? I've, I, I don't think I ever found a Norman on Byro Clef Ridge. There was a Norman we were supposed to find, but I never found it. So, we have to go towards Byro Clef Ridge anyway, so... When we go to Byro Clef Ridge, to go to G Gadadin for obvious reasons, for the next Lord of the Land, we need to look for that Norman, because we did not find that Norman over there, if you guys remember. I need some more. Damn, another I never skit. thought I'd see so many Hellions. Kinda makes me feel guilty for not being able to see them before. You should. Ignorance is a crime, you know. What? So, don't you <laughs> think the quality of equipment is crucial in surviving tough battles? They also say that true masters don't choose their weapons. But since we're no masters, I thought it might be better if we build relationships with the shop owners and order from them. Yeah, well, they say the relationship only lasts as long as the money does. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So what I'm saying is, it's important to build the relationship with the shopkeeper rather than just haggling to get the price down. I can't even tell if you guys are arguing or not. Hey, it looks like something good might come out of it. Maybe a new talent? For shop levels? I doubt it though. Item ordering, wow! Get out of town, we got that? I don't, I gotta see this. Select rank three or higher. Wow, shop and increase availability of specific items. Raise rank to boost, oh, availability odds. You can request items from any weaponsmith with a rank of three or higher. The item's availability is ultimately subject to chance, but ordering is still invaluable because you'll receive a notification. Oh, a notification when your item's in stock. Wow, this is gonna make, this is gonna make it so easier to, uh, you know, sanctify weapons and double the ability of those weapons. Holy shit. Yes. Tristan, I don't even know where all this, this is a good dome, I guess. Look at this. Holy cow. And I believe if you sell items to these weapon shops, you can sell them and then it will add it to the list too. Because they were just talking about that in the damn, the systems book. I was looking at the, not the system book, but the records. If we go to the records, it actually tells you this. Uh, it's somewhere, it tells you this somewhere. If you sell weapons or whatever. What shop, well, yeah, what shops carry is influenced by what you sell. So sell a bunch of rings and that shop will start stocking rings and bulk. Why? I don't know, I'm just a messenger. Why would the game lie to you like that? So the more items you sell, the, the more... Uh, the higher the chance they'll stock that item that you sell them. So, damn! So that's actually gonna be very useful. Acarizer. Ooh, I can get demon rings and stuff. Wow! I can sell them like... Wow, dude. This... But we're gonna need a lot of money. That's the problem. We're gonna need a lot of freaking money. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this damn hint. Look at this shit. Look at all these items I sold to the shop. And they're gonna list all these items. I think you can take advantage of this because if you go to a shop like Gadona, I don't think I sold a. I don't think I sold them that much. Yeah, I can actually go to a shop and sell them some items that I want them to sell me. So I can go there and like probably like sell them some adamant type boots. So I can just keep getting ad adamant type boots and stacking them boots on top of boots. So I can just uh, sanctify them later. Yeah. Holy cow, let's see if we can stay at the end and see if we learn anything new. Again. Oh my goodness. The shepherd's training and the hunt for Mount Tellus. Two birds with one stone. More like a trillion birds. We get to explore the ruins of the five lords. Ruins, ruins, ruins. You're obsessed. 
Hey, you gotta enjoy things like this while you can. Even if you might die? Well, I mean, it's an adventure. I'll say. I'm not as wild about it as you two, but I'll be there. I'm with you two, no matter where this takes us. That's interesting, dude. We get a whole bunch of skits, man. I didn't know we had so many skits just stockpiled for resting at an inn. Holy cow, dude. I guess we should go sleep at a different inn. So we can maybe raise up a different inn. I'm not sure. You know what? Let's just keep sleeping here and see if we can max out the inn. I think you get a, uh, a trophy hey, for that. Dezel, there's something I wanted to ask you about. My eyes, huh? I wasn't trying to hide it from you or anything. Was it this arch enemy of yours that did this? Yeah. She's the reason I lost my sight. She. And so that's why you're after revenge. It's just like I told you. I'm out for vengeance against the one who killed my friend and crushed the Windriders. So it's not about you? I'm actually grateful for this wound of mine. My ability to read the wind has only grown stronger since then. I can sense a larger range of presence than you all can. Most likely, it produces the same effect as the Oath. In other words, I don't need your sympathy or concern. Just use me as you will. Like that one time with Fortin. <laughs> in exchange, you'll use us as you will. Is that right? Pretty sure I told you that right from the start. Yeah, you're right. That's interesting, damn. They just sitting here at Pendragel Inn, sipping on whatever drink they got, eating some marble curry buns. They ain't get tired of it either. They love it. Yeah, let's keep eating some marble curry buns, baby. Let's keep listening to the Dazzle, stories. Can I ask you something? Yeah, what? Do you have any friends? That's a pretty nasty question. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I know. I have a close friend. Lafarga. A wind spirit. He has a very caring personality. When we traveled together, he was like a concerned older brother, looking after his younger siblings. Just what you'd expect from a seraph of the wind. <laughs> he was probably worried most about me. I was a brash young gun then. I see. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear what? Just to learn that you aren't alone. I was worried about you, you know. Save it for someone who needs it. Well, if you say so. That's why I'm gonna get my revenge. For his sake. Holy cow, man. All these skits, buddy. We're getting all these skits. Stockpiling them up for this trophy. All right, we reached three and a half stars. We reached three stars. Chilled tofu, the second Drago. Wait, wait. Oh, look at this. When max hit count is 75 or more, receives 75% guile bonus. Really? That's never gonna happen in a regular battle. It's got to be during like a boss fight or something. We'll eat it anyway, because maybe the. Uh... I'm gonna think. I would have to assume that the more money we spend, the higher the damn end level goes up. So we're gonna eat some chilled tofu. Another skit. Hey, Edna. What? Aren't those boots a little big on you? Got a problem with it? <laughs> Doing no, combat boots. Just wondering if it's hard to walk in those. They used to be my brother's. He adjusted it so that it'll match my shoe size. Don't worry. Then how about those gloves? We have matching ones. What about them? They look great with your dress. Though the overall look is a little strange. <sighs> My brother told me the same thing. Huh? Never mind. Just saying that you wouldn't be able to pull this look off. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that's true. Weirdo. My glove and his boot will stub all over you. Oh. That sounds like an Adele song. <laughs> oh my god, look how much it went up by. Gotta rank up this damn in. Hey Edna, Lila, check this out. Ta-da! Is this a picture or some kind of poster? Looks more like some kind of ad. A breath of fresh air into the fashion of the Seraphim. The latest trend from Sparrow Feather brand launches right now? What is this supposed to be? It's a new business targeting the Seraphim. What? You guys don't need food, but you need clothes, right? It's an untouched market. The perfect opportunity for a monopoly. This is it! <laughs> I don't think the Seraphim are exactly hurting for new clothes. I like what I'm wearing already, too. 
Well, of course you do. You're totally behind the times. Behind? The times? No one asked what you think. <laughs> that attitude is no good. Girls need to dress fashionably or you'll get left behind. It doesn't matter if you're seraphim or human. No! <laughs> then what kind of clothes do you have for us? That's where you guys come in. I don't know what's all the rage among seraphim these days. <sighs> huh? Aren't you too excited? I think you broke her. You okay, Lila? Behind the times. <laughs> too late. <laughs> Great, Rose. Now look what you did. Huh? Me? <laughs> oh, I think this entire episode is gonna be nothing but skits, because we have so many skits apparently just stocked up. And most of them only happen at the end, which is sad. So we're gonna keep eating this uh, chilled tofu. Damn! I remember hearing some old folk tale about a seraph and a hellion. Really? What kind of story was it? Well, it's like this. There was this kind old man and this mean old lady, right? And the old lady cuts the tongue of the little bird they were keeping. What the? How cruel. When the old man goes to the cabana that his bird flew away to, the bird brings him a treasure chest. But when the old lady goes to that cabana, she gets a treasure chest full of awful things. Wait, hold on. Can you even cut off a bird's tongue? Then what's up with the bird and the treasure chest? How could a bird prepare something oh, like God, that? Oh god, they're thinking Plus, logically. The bird's cabana? Pretty sure you mean nest. That's not the point of the story, okay? Jeez. <laughs> I mean, logically speaking, you're, you're full of bullshit, and this story's full of bullshit, Rose. <laughs> That's what they just basically said. Innkeeper doubles as confident. Look at this. So we're gonna try to raise the, this end to the max. Because if we keep sleeping at this end, we'll max out the end. I could say I'm a fan of this paper fan. Holy cow. No, that's too easy. You still awake? You got plenty of hair. Oh, hey. I think this is the first time I've seen you with your hair down. I need to set it properly to make sure it doesn't get in the way during battle. Styling is a pain. I just cut mine when it gets too long. Well, I think you have radiant hair. You really think so? How long did it take you to grow your hair? I can't really recall a time when my hair was short, honestly. You mean you can't remember because it was so long ago? You have been around for a while and all. Indeed. When you've been around as long as I have, you forget even what you had for dinner two nights ago. Pretty sure even humans can't remember that. I don't remember the first word I learned to say either. Yeah, once again, welcome to the world of mortals. <laughs> oh man, we're learning so much about random stuff. Oh my god, it's been like 20 minutes and we're still watching skits. Holy sh like hold on, let's look at our records. Total play time. Okay, you're obsessed, but I guess I'm okay with that. Hey, shut up! Don't call me obsessed. I just like to play a lot. Alright, skits. We gotta look for skits. Skits, skits, skits. Skits played. You played at least uh, or 50 skits now. There's nothing like a drink to bring these people together. Alright. We gotta stay at the end at least two more times so we can max it out for a trophy. Oh my god, another skit. Oh! No more skits! No more skits! Oh, we, we viewed all the skits so far. Alright, guys. Time to stop chilling at the end. It's time to go put in work. We had like a week off. <laughs> we took a week off from the shepherd's duty. You know, we was eating all the tofu, all the marble curry I buns. the bottles. So now it's time to get serious. Looks like we get, uh, we got some info here if we talk to this guy. Agil, are you working? Yeah, data gathering. I need to meet with five informants by the end of the day. Sounds like a lot of work. A gill is like the eyes, ears, and brains for us scattered bones. So then, what are you, Rose? I'm the... the head. I'm the boss at any rate. <laughs> you think? The head, but not the brains. So you're the skull? <laughs> Shut up! You're ruining my metaphor! <laughs> <laughs> well, our boss is more like a goddess of victory. 
Used to be Little Miss Goddess, of course. Little Miss Goddess? Back when our old boss was around. He used to carry her on his back all the time. Those were good times, weren't they? Yep. Help our comrades and defeat our enemies. It was simple back then. So it was. But things have changed. In the underworld, information is king. Did you find any good leads? A couple. The one they call Shepherd Malfor was originally a priest in the Church of Rolands. It seems he's angling to fill the power vacuum caused by the death of Cardinal Fortin. Figures. And then there's the business with the fake elixir. The church can no longer ignore the situation, and they've started investigating the source. Then does that mean that the village chief of Gadadin will... Gadadin? Um, let me explain. Oh boy. I see. So that's what was going on. Egil, do you think the decision I made... The boss's judgment is the Scattered Bones' judgment. But it might require a bit of following up. Yeah. You're right. Let's head over to Gadadin and see how things stand. Thanks. So we gotta go over to Gadadin. I'm entrusting the boss to you, Shepard. Shepard? Alright, so we need to go to Gadadin, right? So, there's two reasons why we need to go to Gadadin in the first place. Uh, to follow up on this lead and to also pretty much... To pretty much, um... Find that, uh, Norman I was talking about earlier. Oh, look at this. This herb came back. Rosemary, thank you. Herbs can regrow in this game. So can treasure chests if you have the right boon. If you go to the Lord of the Land and you get a... You raise it up high enough, you actually can get a boon. To where you can uh, restore treasure hey, chest. Uh, treasure wanna chest. go ask them about the Iris gems? Alrighty, I'll go ask. Will you be alright? They look pretty sketchy. <laughs> Leave it to me. All merchants are like family. Money keeps us together. <laughs> are you sure about this? Let's just leave it to Rose. We're not savvy enough to know when we're being tricked. Yeah, speak for yourself. <laughs> That was I got quick. it. They said they saw an iris gem in the ruins north of here. A ruin in the north? Weird. Why do they keep laughing? Are they laughing at me? <laughs> they think you're a phony shepherd and that I'm a victim of your con artistry. <laughs> They've got it wrong. It can't be helped. There are many who claim to be the shepherd. But still, to be treated like a con artist? No point in arguing with them. Yeah. It's way better to be laughed at than to be frightened of. I suppose. That's a positive way of thinking about it. For real. They 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 act up though. They're getting smacked down, right? Right, Shepard? Right, Soray? I don't know, man. I don't feel right about smacking people down. Damn it, Shepard! You have the power. You've got the power. <laughs> Alright, it looks like there's another thing we can do here. So we're gonna check this out before we leave the uh, area. There's a uh, thing we can do up there. Gonna give us more info, I bet. Uh, looks like it's... What the hell is that? Yeah, that looks like uh, your boy. Yeah, that is Sergey. Sergey talking with somebody. Thank you for taking the time to come today. Lo, I am the Shepherd, Malfor. Oh my god. Hey, tell me, Shepard. Is it really true that you saved the plagued city? Oh, it was nothing. I just helped the Princess of Highland a little by building a bridge in a single day. Oh my god. Then what about the Battle of Glavend? Did you really stop the war? Why, it was easy. All I did was tell them that this isn't the time to be quarreling with one another. It was a hard battle. But I was able to gain support from the Roland's Night Squad. Isn't that Captain Sergei from the Platinum Knights? Then it might not completely be a lie. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to do it without getting caught. <sighs> Sergei, what the hell? I you gonna let this happen? The Knights wouldn't just let some mere imposter do as he pleases. So you mean to say this bloke must be? 
An actual shepherd? It matters not what I am, but please, no matter what, believe in the blessing of the Seraphim. That is the only way to bring salvation to this world. I mean, if it helps them believe... If the people desire it so, I, the Shepherd Malfour, shall put my life on the line to deliver their prayers. Shepherd Malfour! Shepherd Malfour! Oh my god. May the Seraphim's blessing cover the world. This is ridiculous. Saray's the one who did those things. And I'm sure Sergei knows that too. There must be a reason. Probably. I guess we gotta go talk to Sergei really quick. I have no excuse. Forgive me, Sergei. Damn right, I should slap you upside your damn head with your own move, beast. I had a beast upside your head. <laughs> Ha ha ha! In order to secure the seraphim's blessing, we need to appropriate the vessel and someone to conduct the blessing ceremony and also require donations! Yes! Every little bit helps! Donations! Donate right now to my Patreon and my PayPal! Yes! I also require three maidens to do some, um, extracurricular activities. Please wait, Shepherd Soray. There's a reason behind Malfour's actions. I'm sure. I trust Sergei. We're quite unsure how he worked his way in, but Malfour has been a favorite of General Tuller. And so, the General has ordered the Night Squad to protect the Shepherd, Malfour. That's the reason? They are just pawns of the Empire, after all. General Tuller also has a close relationship with the Imperial Majesty, and... No more excuses! Whatever the reason is, it is clear I have sullied your honor. I can only apologize. <laughs> Not sure I had honor to start with. <laughs> anyway, it was nice to see that people expect so much from the Shepherd. It's a good sign. What a gentleman. Gentlemen, Schmettelman, what were you doing just standing around? I'm afraid I could do not. Knowing all the while who the true shepherd was. Looks like they took advantage of just how earnest you are. It's pretty ironic. The less affected by malevolence you are, the harder it is to live an honest life. Such is the human condition, I suppose. Even so, that is how humans live. It's tough. All right, let's go, Yuri. Let's go murder the dim dude at night when he's by himself. Oh, wait, this isn't Tales of Vesperia. We don't do that thing here. Well, Rose does. <laughs> so before we end off today's episode, we're going to go to Byroclef Ridge for one reason only. And then in the next episode, we're going we're gonna to pretty much uh, try to get the Lord of the Land down packed. Uh, but right now, what we're going to do, we're going to fast travel all the way to Viral Cliff Ridge, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. I just noticed, whenever Miklio gets angry, it always has something to do with Saray. What? That's not true. Then what's with that response? Come on, you guys are family. That was random. Wow, let's get looking for the trials, the spiritual powers in Lake Haven somewhere. Huh. Scared for the bandit gang. Oh yeah, we gotta look for those kids. Let's hunt for Iris gems. You heard anything about Lady Lake recently? I wonder how Gadada and his chief are getting on. Damn, man. There's so much we can do right now. There's a lot of little different objectives we got. So what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna get our way over to Viral Cliff. We're actually gonna be right outside of. No, we're not. We're looking at the dungeons. Biocliff. I thought Biocliff was a dungeon, but it's actually a field entrance. So we gotta go right next to Gadadin's entrance. Here we go. And what we're gonna do is look for this damn um, Norman here. We never found it. I never found it. So he must be hidden in a really, really dumb spot. So if we keep going down here, wow, look at this orc. Orking it up. Orking it up. Anyway. 
We're supposed to be down here. He's around here somewhere. He's supposed to be around here, I believe. Look at- Oh my god, dude. He was right here. This dude's right here, and that orc is about to attack me. But this dude- The Normans are right here, guys. He was hidden inside of a crate. He was literally hidden inside of a crate. Just like a cat from Tales of Exilia 2. They put a cat inside of a crate and they also did the same thing for a Norman in this game. So we're about to get this Norman. Got any equipment with open skills? I can make it pretty I can make it nice and pretty. Look at this orc. Need to put some damn clothes on. Rakishi looking ass dude. <laughs> Alright, wonder. So what we need to do. Fatty G, huh? Yeah, we'll give him this. Sweet. Stay away from me, fatty. Stay away from me, fatty. Fatty G. That's his name, Fatty G. Now, that's actually uh, the name of a skill, apparently. Fatty G, which is hilarious. So what I'm gonna do here, guys. Oh my god, I got into a fight somehow. Come on! Camera, please! My god! Almost died! I almost died because of the camera! <laughs> and then they locked me in the corner! Y'all better get the hell out of here! What a formidable opponent! Almost died at the end of the episode! <laughs> almost died at the end of the episode! You can request items from any high or weaponsmith, but they rank up three or higher. The item's availability is ultimately subject to chance, but ordering. Yeah, we learned that already. And they're playing Tales of Vesperia music because I got this costume on. But anyway, I'm gonna save the game, guys. <laughs> Take a break, and once we come back, we're gonna be back with more Tales of Zesteria. If I would have died at the end of the video with no other encounters but that one, I would have been so mad. But we didn't. So I'll see you guys next time.